got my gator meat. <laughs> We're going to start by cutting our gator into chunks. We're going to salt it, a little pepper. I'll never forget the first time I cooked gator meat. My son Bobby had been out to a friend's pond and he called me and he said, Mama, you won't ever believe a gator came up and bit me on my shoe, so I killed him. <laughs> and I said, you did? Did he hurt you? He said, no, ma'am, he didn't hurt me, but I just wanted to know if I bring him home, will you cook him? I said, you bring that tail to the house, son, and I'll fry him up. And I said, and bring all your friends. I think I cooked gator that night for about 20 males. Gosh, it's probably been 20 years, and they still talk about that gator meal that they had. Now, I've just tossed it in some buttermilk, and we're going to dredge it in the flour. If you don't like gator meat, use some chicken. And it kind of tastes a lot like chicken, too. So we've got our pot ready. It's at 350 degrees, and you'll hear me say that temperature a lot because that's just a good frying temp. And we're going to fry this much like we would white chicken. It doesn't take a whole long time to cook this. And you want to shake it and kind of get the excess flour off of it. And since we've got these little chunks, it really won't take us long at all. And I'm going to just kind of move them around so that they'll brown evenly. And speaking of fried gator meat, it's floating now. And it's nice and brown, so we're going to take it up and drain it. Look how pretty that is. And back here, we've got chili for our smashed dogs. And if you don't like chicken, you could actually even use a pork tenderloin. But I thought the gator was really appropriate. Next, I'm going to put together the fried gator taters. Now, if I fixed a potato at my house and didn't make this potato sauce that my children love, I don't even think they'd eat a potato. We're going to start with mayonnaise and sour cream, chopped onions, fresh parsley, and a little salt and pepper. And this just does marvelous things for a potato. I serve this sauce with just boiled potatoes, baked potatoes, any kind of potatoes. And it's also wonderful in a casserole. But I'm just going to mix those up. And that's our potato sauce. We're going to take our potato, and these are so hot. Now, you can do this a couple of different ways. You can just slice through your tin foil, or you can unfold it. I'm going to split the potato. And you can see the steam coming off that bad boy. He is hot as a firecracker. I'm just going to stick a little butter in him. You know, out of all the foods, the potato is probably my very favorite of all foods. All right, now we're going to top him with a little potato sauce, or maybe a lot of potato sauce, a little cheddar, a little jack, a little gator tail. Look at that. And a little green onion. And you got yourself a fried gator tater. Thank mm -hmm. you.